Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a hard stamp brush in Procreate 5, and then I'll show you how to make it into a multicolor stamp brush. Start by creating a new canvas. Tap on the plus sign, and for this tutorial, choose the square canvas. To make a brush, we'll need black for the color. So tap on the color swatch, tap value at the bottom of the colors menu, and enter the hexadecimal that appears on the screen. Now tap on the paintbrush and get the monoline brush located in the calligraphy set. I want to make a symmetrical heart, so to do this, tap on the wrench, tap canvas, and then toggle the drawing guide on. Then tap edit drawing guide. Now at the bottom of this screen, tap symmetry, and tap options to make sure that the settings look okay. Vertical should be selected, Rotational symmetry should be off, and assisted drawing should be on. Now tap Done at the top right of this screen. So now we're ready to draw the heart. Use the sliders on the side of the screen to set the size and opacity of the brush. I'm going to make the brush size about 20%, and the opacity 100%. Now I'm going to start in the top center of the canvas and draw half of the heart, and because symmetry is turned on, the other half will appear automatically. When you're done, drag from the color swatch into the heart to fill it with black. The heart should be fairly large and in the center of the canvas. If you need to move the heart, tap on the arrow and you can move it. And if you need to resize it, tap Uniform at the bottom of the screen and drag the nodes to resize it proportionally. Okay, so now we're ready to make the brush. First, let's copy the canvas. So tap on the wrench, tap Add, and then tap Copy Canvas. Now I'm going to make a new brush set to add this brush to. So scroll way to the top of the brush library, and then tap on the plus sign. I'm going to name this brush set Hearts. Now tap on the plus sign in the upper right corner of the brush library to add a brush to this set. On the left side of the brush studio, tap Shape, and then tap Edit next to Shape Source. In the Shape Editor screen, tap Import, and then Paste. This should paste your heart. We need the heart to be white and the background to be black. So to do this, tap with two fingers on the heart, and this should invert the shape source. When you're done, tap Done in the upper right corner of the Shape Editor screen. So now that we have the brush shape, let's modify some of the settings. Tap Stroke Path on the left side of the Brush Studio. I'm going to increase the spacing to max. Now tap on Apple Pencil on the left side of the screen. I don't want the brush to change opacity based on the Apple Pencil pressure, so I'm going to decrease the opacity to none. Now tap on Properties on the side of the screen. Under Brush Behavior, I'm going to increase the maximum size of the brush. I'll make it about 675%. This is how large the brush can be. And I'm going to increase the minimum size of the brush slightly as well. I'll make it about 12%. If you tap on the percentage, you can access a number pad to enter exact values. Okay, so the heart stamp brush is done, but if you want to make it a multicolor brush, tap Color Dynamics on the side of the screen. In order to test the color settings, it's useful to use the drawing pad. So I'm going to tap Drawing Pad, and then tap Clear Drawing Pad. And then I'm going to tap Drawing Pad again, and choose blue for the color. Now I'll tap on the drawing pad with my Apple Pencil a few times to stamp some hearts. Right now they're all the same color, so to make them change color, increase the hue slider under Stamp Color Jitter. This will make the brush change color randomly each time you stamp it on the canvas. If you increase it slightly, the hearts will only vary slightly in color. If you increase the hue slider more, the hearts will become more colorful. I'm going to set the hue slider to about 30%. Now I'm just going to name the brush, so tap About This Brush on the side of the screen, and then tap Untitled Brush, and you can give it a name, such as Heart. And then tap Done in the upper right corner of the screen. I'm going to test this brush out. So first I'll tap on the wrench and tap Canvas, and I'm going to turn the drawing guide off. Now I'm going to create a new layer, and I'll turn off the visibility of the heart layer and I'm going to get pink for the color. And now you can just tap on the canvas to stamp a heart. Use different sizes and colors to test the brush out. 
And if you need to, you can tap on the brush to go back into the Brush Studio and modify the settings a bit more. Now you can use this method to create lots of different heart brushes. If you want to use the same settings, just duplicate the brush and paste your new shape source. Thank you for watching.